Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Frontier Bricks, and this is my review of the LEGO Star Wars Spark Speeder Escape, which only just came out on May 1st, 2024. It is set number 75378, comes with 221 pieces, including three, technically four minifigures, depending on what you call Grogu, and retails for $30. This set is actually a bit of a history-making he said for LEGO Star Wars, as is as it is the very first set to not only technically be, uh, be part of a Jedi Temple set with the Lampos, but it's also the very first set based off of Order 66. We haven't, like I said, this is the very first time LEGO has ever done anything like that. People have been wanting Order 66 sets for quite a while, but this is the very first one. The the front of the box shows off the set in its entirety with the bark speeder and sidecar with Keller and Beck okay, and Grogu, plus the little lamp build, plus a pair of 501st clone troopers, and of course it shows off all your figures. The top of the box shows a one-to-one -one scale image of that Keller and Beck, which I gotta admit is probably the highlight figure of the set. It shows off uh, the left side of the box shows off a little bit of of the build and the box and the back of the box shows off again shows off the entire set but and including a, and a, a couple of the play features such as putting Gogo's pram in the sidecar and the firing stud shooters it has the thumb tabs so let's go ahead and get this thing open if I can get my thumb out of there there we go. All right, let's see. We got one, two, looks like three bags of parts. Fortunately, it does and look like, um, you know what? There probably are stickers in here. I just, uh, just don't seem to. Well, let me take a look. Uh, can't really find one piece that looks like would have stickers. Unless maybe they are hiding the sticker sheet in with Bex, uh, uh, cape. Yeah, I honestly thought, oh, no, it's, no, the, uh, the sticker sheet's hiding in the instructions. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. So it looks like we got a total of four stickers and none of them too big. So, uh, that might be a good thing or a bad thing. I tend to find... I've, you know, I thought the bigger stickers are a bit easier to put on than the smaller ones. And the instruction manual, I gotta say, for a $30 set is very, very small. I wasn't expecting it to be this small. So, uh, open it up. It's got the Lego Builder app add, plus the uh, paper bags, despite this not having paper bags. Then jump straight into the build. There's your parts list. And does it have any ads for other sets? No, it does not. Just the build. All right. So this shouldn't take too long, but let's go ahead, jump into a time lapse of this build, starting right now. Alright, the build is done. That took about 20-25 minutes, give or take, so nothing too cra crazy, but it was a bit of a fun build. Let's go ahead and jump into my review on this set, starting with the figures. And starting off with our figures and the order you make them, we have probably the standout character for this, Keller and Beck, who was wonderfully played by Ahmed Best, and fortunately, he had, he, his portrayal was much more uh, enjoyed with this character than he was as Jar Jar Binks. Uh, the, the face print looks pretty good, uh, looks pretty good, pretty in, in much like what uh, we see uh, Ahmed's face looks like. Of the little metallic gold on uh, around the, his uh, of his robes, like like the edges, like is like the uh, the needlework at the top of the sh uh, 
of the undershirt part and then the top rope around a little metallic gray for, you know, on the belt buckle. Fabric. He's actually, to be honest, this is probably one of the softest soft capes I've gotten. It's re like it's really soft. I really like it. I don't mind a shirt made out of that of that fabric. And get at the back as well, along with just a few couple of touches of metallic gray. Now the belt, along with painting up at the top. Of course, he's got his two lightsabers: one green, one blue. Oh, uh, actually, taking a look at the lightsaber blades themselves, I do see, like, I think it looks like a couple of water drops. I mean, since I've ended up uh, with uh, blades with, so with, well, with the, uh, the those, so a little, so a little disappointed. Uh, let me take a look at if, or maybe that's just, or maybe that's just a mark where the piece. Oh, uh, anyway, anyway, like I said, he's probably a standout character, and he looks fantastic. And next up, we get ourselves a pair of 501st clone troopers. They look exactly he the same, so I'll just go ahead and show off one here. Wouldn't be a Order 66 set that takes place at the Jedi e Temple without some 501st clone troopers. Uh, has the usual uh, blue markings all over between on the on the helmet, the torso, and the legs. Once again, it doesn't quite go up to the rim of the helmet, much like uh, the uh, the two, uh, twelve troopers. And again, it does have the helmet holes, even though all these guys don't need them. They don't. It doesn't. This set doesn't come with any of the attachments. Once again, I keep saying it. They need to have two moles at the helmet: one with helmet holes, one without. And this would be a perfect set for them to be the one without. But other than that, good, uh, the good usual good markings all around, like the blue on the torso and the legs with just a little bit of black and get, and get mixed in, and a good printing on the back of the new torso. Once again, the usual uh, original 501st clone trooper heads for the troopers. People might be getting a little tired of uh, the Bible First Clone Troopers, but again, if you're not, then you get two more for your army. And for our fourth and final figure, even though he is a bit of a micro figure, we have Grogu, aka Baby Yoda, a very necessary part to this set. Uh, he's, he's the same version of Grogu that we've gotten. In a, basically the entire time, whether it be the $130 Razor Crest, the Tusken Raiders set, Moth Gideon's like Cruiser, any set that has baby uh, Grogu, it's the same version as as that one, with just a little bit of printing on the torso and the custom uh, and the custom molded head in the rubber style. But like I said, very necessary figure, and hey, it's Grogu. Until he gets to be Yoda's age, he's never not going to be cute. So for the first of the three builds, we got the smallest one. That is Grogu's pram. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty basic build, but it's uh, but it certainly works. It's got mostly white with a little bit of that Republic uh, uh, Republic red mixed in with a little bit. Gray at the bottom. It does come with a transparent piece at the bottom to give it the idea that it is hovering. And it, uh, you do need to remove this when you go to put it on the bark speeder. And of course, there's a two by two plate with a jumper in the middle. So to place Grogu inside. And my uh, the prayer might be a bit oversized for what it is, but Grogu fits in there just fine. So yeah, nice little build. And next up, we've got, ironically, the very first part of the Jedi Temple we've ever gotten. However, it's just like a lamp post. Admittedly, these do show up uh, in the scene in Mandalorian Season 3 when this happens. Uh, I'll see if I can get an image, image on uh, for the video to s show you what that looks like. But again, it's like it's just a lamp post. Like, what, like there's nothing crazy. Uh, there's nothing really going on. On here, it's just kind of 
helps kind of set the scene and probably just a little throw in to help justify the $30. I'm not really sure what you were expecting. And finally, we have our Bark Speeder with Sidecar. Of course, the first one came out with that now well, famous, or you could almost say infamous, face to Captain Rex. Infamous because of how hard it is to get a hold of. But this build is quite a bit different than that one. Right. It is, uh, of course, Superheroes is... The Su LEGO Superheroes line is well known for its oversized motorcycles. But, and, uh, this one, and this one certainly fits in with that category of being oversized. It is pretty big for what it's supposed to be, but it is also pretty detailed. All the stickers in the set go on uh, the spark speeder. And then we've got two on the side, one here at the top, and the big one in, in, front, of the, in front of the sidecar. It does have a couple of stud shooters on the of uh, the new style stud shooters on the front, and uh, the uh, uh, the seat is fully brick belt with only two studs at the back, so it's pretty uh, so it's, it's uh, pretty easy to get your figure on and off. Let me go ahead and do that with Kevin back here. All right, get with his lightsabers. There's don't know. Oh, okay. So it's not too bad if you if he's got the cape on. Probably helps. That's the soft style cape. So, so go ahead, lean him back there a little bit. Adjust his hands so he can grab onto the handlebar. And. All right, so, so, maybe yeah, maybe I'm leaning him back too much. Come on. Well, maybe I've got his hands. Twisted the wrong way. That might help. There we go. All right. Yeah, they clip, they clip on there just just fine. Cape doesn't really get in the way. You can probably just move this move it aside. All right, real quick. Actually, that actually looks like a pretty good good look with the cape on the side. And then of course you got the side. And of course you got the side car on the back. Like I said, you do have to take off the transparent piece at the bottom of the pram. And then it just sits on there on those two jumper you know, jumper plates. It's uh, the side car does feel a bit big, but that's probably just so you can fit the pram in there. Or like the little atten uh, attention detail, like the little uh, snowshoes, uh, uh, snowshoe pieces attached to the side for those skids. And uh, the set does have quite a few uh, inver uh, transparent inverted tiles to give it that to give that suffering. Also, speaking of inverted tiles, this is the first time I've ever gotten an inverted tile where the tile is flat. Where the tile is flat. All the, uh, all those transparent inverted tiles. Uh, uh, half circles. And then, but this one is entirely flat. That's actually the first time I've ever gotten a piece like that. I, I actually didn't even know that they existed until, until this set. Who knows, maybe this piece is new, that set. I don't know. Oh, but, uh, but, uh, one thing po people are probably wondering with this set is if it has the same function as the Captain Rex, uh, box we have with sidecar, if you can swing the, uh, the sidecar, uh, around. Unfortunately, it doesn't, uh, unfortunately, that's uh, not the, not the case, although, uh, it is on these, uh, hinge pieces, so you, if you want, you can kind of, like, change the angle of how this sidecar is so I mean I know that's not something that uh, it does in universe but it is something you can do and just in case you guys are wondering I do have the 501st bark speeder here with me and with the exception of changing up the, the build a bit it is a exact one-to-one -one copy of the 
uh, uh, when it comes to size. Again, quite a bit of a different build, but it is the same size. So, that's my full review on the set itself. Uh, let's move on to the final review. So, what do I think of this set? I actually think it's kind of fun. It is nice that we get, finally get an Order 66 based set. The plus, this was a great scene in Mandalorian se uh, Season 3. He, he are very, he are, uh, very happy that we got a set based off of this scene. Especially getting that Kelleran Beck figure. Finally getting a, um, technically getting an Ahmed Best the figure that actually looks like Ahmed Best. I'm just not sure that the pro uh, that the thirty dollar price is justified. Like like I said, that Bark Speeder is the same size as the Bark uh, as the Bark Speeder Speeder from the Five O First. But are you really going to tell me like that Five O First set was also thirty dollars, much like this set? But are you really going to tell me that the sidecar uh, uh, Grogu? The two clone, uh, clone troopers and the lamp is this is worth the same amount as the 501st ATRT. Yeah, a total of three clone troopers and two battle droids. Of course not. The, of course not. Like the parts except for to make the pram, the sidecar, and the lamp are nowhere near enough. To make that ATRT, you just can't convince convince me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just can't convince me that. So I just don't see how they can justify both these sets being thirty dollars, even though one of them is substantially bigger. There's uh, the map. The, the the map just doesn't like the numbers just aren't adding up here, guys. So I'm not sure this guy is worth thirty dollars. I'd I personally I'd wait to to see if it goes on sale for like. At least 25, 20 would probably be best. If not, maybe use some VIP points to oh, get some discounts and then drop it down to that 20, 25 dollar price point. 30 dollars, that's a bit expensive. But I, but I do think this is a fun little set. If you guys are interested in Star Wars and you liked Mandalorian Season 3, especially this scene, I would recommend it. Just don't get this thing at full price. So that is the end of this review. Thanks for joining me for it. I hope you this guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I helped make your help help you make a decision on whether to get it or not. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do, like, subscribe and all that stuff. You can check out some more of my content on the end screen in just a few seconds. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later everybody!